Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. I am, my name is Lupe Olan for A Line in the Sand. I'm excited that you're here with us. I'm excited today about what the topic is going to be. I just want to praise God just for a moment. I want to give him glory just for a moment. I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that it's him, that we're praising him, that we're lifting up him, that it's all about him and all about what he's doing in us. And it's very important that we know what he's doing, what his mind is in us. And that's what our topic is today. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited. Our, the word of God says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. And I have to think about that for a moment. Because knowledge, is it God's knowledge? Is it intellectual knowledge? Is it academics? I say it's all of it. But I say the most important Knowledge is the knowledge of God. And so with everything that's going on in the United States, I know this program is aired all over the world, but we have unique issues in this country that intercession and prayer and you know gathering together, and we can take care of this. We have so many Christians in this country. We, Google polled Americans in, in 2015. 75% of Americans identified as being Christian. That's a lot. That's a lot of power. Why aren't we able to push some things through or annihilate some things like late-term abortion, like abortion, period, things like that? That's just an example. Today I have my guest, Troy Miller. Hello, everybody. Kingdom Ministries, Lancaster. Of course, our... Renowned Pastor Manuel Johnson, God bless, God bless you. you. God you. bless you. I'm so happy, so happy to have both of you here. I have uh, Troy Miller. We had a discussion last night about why uh, my topic today would be intercession that tracks with the mind of God. And I asked him, okay, so we have so many Christians. We have so many Christians in this country. Why aren't we able to... Uh, be, be effective in the marketplace, in the entertainment industry, in government, even in our own churches. What are we missing? Roe v. Wade, 1973, that's a long time. That's a lot of dead kids, dead children. And so mm. I'm going to go ahead and give Troy the floor. We had a long discussion last night. It was about an hour and a half, something, something like, like that. that you know? And I learned a lot. I learned a lot, some very beautiful, wonderful points that he made. And so I'm just going to go ahead and let you tell us, give us an understanding, point us in the right direction. Where are we missing it? Thank you very much. The first scripture that I would start out with to explain what we're missing is Job 29, verse 4, which it says in the word, as it was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. When the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. In the Hebrew language, that is the word sowed, which means the counsel of the Lord. As it was in the days of my youth, when the counsel of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Hmm. The issue that I find in the body of Christ today is that we have a lot of things that we are praying for and that we would believe that God would be backing, but we haven't sought his counsel. And so we are moving forward and even asking the Lord to do what we feel should be done, but we haven't asked him. And so just in a conversation with the Lord myself the other day, after a time of just kind of wrestling with him, he said to me, he said, so you want me to do something and respond correctly? And I said, yes, Father. He said, I'm waiting for you to respond correctly. And that okay. brought up an entirely, a, a confrontation within my own soul of what, is the response that God is looking for. And the response that he's actually looking for is intimacy, is knowing him 
mm. and knowing on. his mm. will Come on. and knowing his ways <clears throat> and desiring that above all. And so what we're in is we're in days of your light has come for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Mm. Okay, Isaiah chapter 60. Mm -hmm. Your light will come for behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And as I was doing um, a model on, uh, in our ministry, I took a plate of glass and a black thing, and I said, your darkness, your failures, your sins, your despondency, your self-disqualification, if you put it behind the glass, because we see and behold as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, if you put your darkness behind it, now you have a mirror to reflect his light. So behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Therefore, it gives us the uh, opportunity for his light to grow stronger. And if you've ever seen with a mirror, the darker the surface, the more clear the image of the reflection. If you have a very blurry dark image, you can see your reflection, but not well. If it's really, really dark, you can see very clearly all of the features of your face. Hmm. So I use that as a model to say, in the midst of darkness, we need to put that behind so that we can look at the light. And so coming into the counsel of the Lord, it says in Jeremiah chapter 23, talking about false prophets who are saying to Israel, you're going to have peace, and everything is going to be okay, and everything is going to be all right. But then it says in Jeremiah 23, 18, But who has stood in the counsel of the Lord, and who has perceived and heard his word, and who has marked his word as they have heard it? What if our intercessions came from the counsel of the Lord? Okay, are you talking about getting into his presence so much so like Isaiah did mm -hmm. where he took the tongs he took the hot coal the live coal and touched it to his lips and his iniquity That's right. was purged from him Yes. so we need to get to a place that place so that he can work through us it, yes, it, am like I understanding saying, that right? Then the Lord said, who will, who will we send for us? He with the purged lips from the seraphim off the tongues of the golden altar. Pa Pas Pastor Troy, when you mentioned that, and when uh, Minister Lupe mentioned this, so, but there has to be a recognition. Isaiah recognized that there was iniquity before it was purged. Right. So, because sometimes we could be talking to God, but we yeah. didn't recognize anything. Right. Because right. Because now we hear all the things that are going on, what God's going to do. But I want to ask you to, and Troy, please expand, expand on this. Is this also a me generation? Yes. You know? Right. A me generation. Me, 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 Lord. And it's a me generation in our prayers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Expand on that. Well, we're, pr we're praying our prayers. And I don't see heaven responding because Come heaven on. isn't recognizing its pattern. Wow. Okay? And so, so it so isn't in the counsel of the will of uh -huh. the Lord mm -hmm. that we're praying. Okay? So we would think that God would want to end abortion. Come on. Okay? And yet he doesn't seem to be responding to those prayers. And it's something that as you mature in Christ, I'm 30 years old in the Lord, yeah. you have to start going... What are you looking for that we are not releasing? Now, I understand the bowls that need to be tipped and, and all of that and right. the accumulation of yes, prayer. I yes, understand yes. that. Okay. But are we putting the right substance in the bowls? Which are we putting his will, his heart in the bowl? Thy That's kingdom my... come, thy will be done. Yes, so, exactly. So, Troy, is it possible that we could get interference from the second heaven and our prayers is, is the it's a second heaven prayer versus the third heaven prayer i'm, well, just I'm glad speaking. that you would ask it that way <laughs> because it goes. jesus it goes. <laughs> is the high priest okay 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 that takes our confession 
within the veil. Mm. Therefore, into the third heavens. Okay, it Crazy. says that in the book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. But the only way that it's going to take it is if the pattern is correct and the words are right. And so like you're saying about me, me, me generation. Yeah, the me generation. Yes. Their prayers are being prayed amiss. Woo! And I think that's what we're having a lot of times. I mean, think about all the Colosseums that have been filled with praying Christians and all of these things that have happened. And how many hundreds of thousands of Christians have prayed about abortion? Right. Hmm. For a long time. For a it's very been a long while. time. Yes. And That's yet, what I say. heaven is not responding to that. The Father is not responding to that. Why? And we've got to confront the issue. We don't know why. Because mm -hmm. we're not in his presence and not. Now, I asked the question. I'm going to bounce off of that. I asked you a question uh, a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. We can pr pray until we're blue in the face. Yes. Pray, pray, pray. I mean, we got this prayer stuff down pat. Don't we have to do some kind of works? Faith without works is dead. Don't mm -hmm. we have to put some kind of feet to our faith? And you gave me a, an incredible answer to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want you to share that. Okay. Because we, 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 this country, Christians in this country, churches, we got conferences, we got revivals, we got all well, kinds well, of stuff going you on. You did, you hit it, you, you drove it home when you said this about the, we have out of what I believe, I could be wrong with the numbers, mm -hmm. but America <laughs> is founded on the Christianity, the Judea mm -hmm. word, yes. and I believe that we have the most Christians in the world. It's, I, I could be wrong with that number, but is that still accurate? I believe it, be right. it is, but I'm okay. not sure either. Yeah. Okay. And as Lupe was saying, regarding the prayers, the second heaven invading, the second heaven invaded Jesus when he was in the wilderness, but he, he, counteract, he, he counteracted that. And she said that works without... Faith you know, without faith without works, works is dead. Mm -hmm. And so you gave her an answer. So explain to that because okay. we want to hear this. Yeah. The Bible says that Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Well, the mm -hmm. truth of the matter is, as Christians, we do a lot <clears throat> without the Lord. Him. But what we don't do is things of everlasting and eternal value. Mm. We don't do things that oh. are in alignment with Ephesians 1 verse 11, which is in the counsel of his will. He works all things after the counsel of his own will. That's powerful. And so we need to be praying and be in alignment with the counsel of his own will in our prayers. And for everybody out there, I want to tell you, it is not just about abortion. It is Come a three-tier system a satanic three chord that is not easily broken of child pedophilia, child cannibalism, and abortion. That's harsh. And they all circle true. around each other oh and they all fuel one another. Ooh. So therefore, we cannot break abortion. We must break the three strand cord of the entire thing. How? Did How? you hear that? I, can you say that last part one more time? <laughs> okay. Wow. It's child to some of our simple pedophilia, folks. <laughs> child cannibalism, and abortion. There it and is. And they fuel each other, and we must break the entire threefold cord. So, and getting, of all the prayers that I've heard in the United States, I've only heard Christians deal with the issue of abortion. But it's more than abortion. Oops. He's on a roll. Amen. So, so enemy can deceive us. And saying with the surface, you know, and get all emotional about the surface. Thank you. Exactly. Politically yes. emotional, Emotion. spiritually emotional, Come on. personally That's emotional. Amen. And, and, and the real deal is hidden. Yes. I love that. This is a... Yes. This is a... <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing is about getting into the counsel of the Lord, first of all. And this so is you where can know I heard the mind. it is a three-fold strand. That's where he this got that from. This is where I heard that, in the counsel of the when Lord. When you get intimate with God, 
yes. then he reveals things to you. I have been, my mind has been blown so much about the stuff that he has said to me. I mean, it was months ago when, I, when he revealed to me that there are high places in the body of Christ, high yeah, places yeah, of idolatry, high places of sacrifice yeah. in the body of Christ. Yes, there is. And I, I was like, wait a minute, how can that be? But it's true. And, I, and it was confirmed just this weekend. Mm -hmm. it, and it was months ago that I, August of last year, well, it's, it's that like, he told me that. Well, uh, Lupe, it's, it's like an eagle. Lupe and Troy, it's Thank like you. an eagle. Yes. An eagle can see more than most birds because right. they're in the high places. Yes. Because of the perspective. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and so our prayers need to be in the high places. Moses saw more and knew more than what was down in the mountain. Yeah. Exactly. For example, when uh, he came down to the mountain halfway, I believe, and he spoke to, he sees Joshua. Joshua wasn't where Moses was. He was part. Right. And so Joshua heard the noise, but Moses knew everything that was going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also want to break into that is that Ephesians 2, verse 6 says, He raised us together and seated us together in, in heavenly, heavenly places, places. In, Christ Jesus. in Christ Jesus. We're in the third heaven, which is above the second heaven. This is true. And that is our identity. Yes. Now from there, we pray governmentally down into the earth, the will and the counsel of God Careful into a circumstance. Tell the people why Instead we're not Our doing prayers that. Yes. on the earth as a little praying Christian with your hands yes. folded, yes. saying you're now I lay me down prayers. <laughs> okay. We need authority that is coming from heavenly government when we are in alignment with that government. Amen. I want to share a couple more scriptures that I think will help, okay? And when I was talking about Jeremiah 23 and verse 18, then you drop down to 22. But if they, it says in 21, I had not sent these prophets, yet they ran, and I had not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Mm. And that's what we have a lot in the body of Christ. People in presumption, that are doing things that the Lord never sent them to do. But because it's Christian, they believe the Lord would have them do it. But it's in presumption. Then it says this, but if they had stood in my counsel mm. and had caused my people to hear my words, mm. then they should have turned from their evil ways and from their evil doings. If they'd stood in my counsel, if they wouldn't have ran, but if they would have been still and know that I am God and I will be exalted among the heathen, I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, verse 10. Amen. So you see, we've got to stop running to and fro mm -mm. and being distracted even by the fires the enemy sets. Pastor Troy, help us. Help us get there. Get, you know, now this could, this could be a three-hour yeah. conference. Okay. But just give us, but, get, but help <laughs> us, give us some nuggets yes. to help us get there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pray then, all right? Okay. One more, one more. I just, it just no, what, popped I, into my head. Okay, okay, okay. The effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. If right. you know where your who your righteousness is yes. or who your righteous is in then you will have the effectual fervent prayer and to know that being in the counsel of god then you'll know who you are on the righteousness of god right. through christ jesus then your prayers will be effectual and fervent and you're releasing this kingdom knowledge to us yes exactly. and you said earlier my people perish for, for uh, lack, of knowledge. lack of knowledge and finish it and the next verse is and because when knowledge is given they refuse it yes that's the and he rejects international version his priest because they rejected knowledge they he said the that if you read some more, yes, and I will reject your children because of it. So yes, it goes on to your children as well. Yes. Troy, give us some more, and then we'll we'll right. wrap it up. It says in Ezekiel chapter twenty-three, verse thirty, I sought for among a man, a man among them that should make up the hedge, to stand in the gap before me, yes. that I should not destroy the land, but I found none. We have to learn how to make up the legal hedge. 
that then stands in the gap. And that's part of the issue of coming into governmental prayer. The hedge is the legal authority by which God can redeem in a situation. And so Christians have to learn in intercession to make a hedge that can then stand within the gap or the breach. Hmm. And so I want to enter into that right now in prayer okay. so that we can see Amen. and demonstrate um, a level of how to align An with example. It. Very right. good. It's excellent. Take us there. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you. For as your word says, you raised us together and seated us together in heavenly places. Right now, Father, we enter in by faith into the record of the word of God that says that you have seated us in heavenly places. Mm. And Lord, from this authority in third heaven right now, we come into the counsel of your will. We come into the sowed of the Lord. And we ask you now, Lord, that you would speak through us, come on. that you would use us as a vehicle of intercession, that, Father, we would stand in the gap. And as we stand in the gap, Lord, you would purge our land that you would heal it, Lord. And so we ask you, Father, for your will and for your heart. Lord, we enter into this place not to ask our will be done. Yes, Lord. Not to ask for a Christian will to be done, but to ask for your will to be done. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' Father, name. Yes, God. What is the counsel of your will? What is your desire for the body of Christ to pray in this day and in this hour? What is on your heart, Lord? We have tried everything and we have done much, but it has been ineffective mm. and it has not worked, Lord. Help us. Lord. So we turn from our own ways to seek your heart. To wait on the Lord. Yes, Father. That you would renew our strength. And that we would mount up with wings as eagles. That, Lord, upon the earth we would walk and not be weary. And we would run and not faint. Yes, Lord. We enter in now, Lord, into the secret place. That upon the earth we may abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Jesus. Release your counsels, Lord. Yes. Speak, Lord. Speak, As Lord. your prophet Samuel said, Lord, as a youth, speak, Lord. Yes, God. For your servants are listening. We thank you, Father. If there's for this anyone. expression. Amen. Of intercession. Amen. Amen anyone within the sound of my voice if you don't know this God that we're talking about I want you to repeat this prayer after me dear Lord Jesus I know I'm a sinner I'm asking you to forgive me of my sins I know that you're the son of God I know that you were sacrificed for my sins and I know that you you were resurrected on the third day and you're seated at the right hand of the Father come into my life today Come into my life, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, in Jesus' name. My name is Lupe Olan. I'm here for A Line in the Sand. I hope this program has given you some breakthrough information so that your prayer life, so that your intercession can be effective and fervent in Jesus' name. God bless you. Till next time. God bless you, everybody.